my name's uh, John Peterson, and I've uh, been building um, old-time mountain banjos for about uh, three and a half years. And I got them all over the world, of course a lot in the United States. I uh, have probably about a dozen in uh, the UK, uh, about ten in Australia, um, Greece, Germany, Spain, Italy, got a couple in China, some in Japan, so all over the world, and uh, it's been a lot of fun doing it. So. When, when people think of banjos, banjo music, they must think of the bluegrass style. So, you know, most of the banjos you're going to see are bluegrass banjos. And um, when you go to a music store, and a uh, musical instrument store, that's what you're going to see is a bluegrass banjo. Uh, you might see an old-time banjo, you know, with the open back to it, but more than likely you won't. But the real neat thing about a fretless banjo is that since you don't have frets, when you slide up the neck, you don't get that bump, 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 as you slide up the frets. And that's, that's the thing I like the most about a fretless banjo, is that nice, clean sliding sound when you slide up a string. Well, the first time I built a old-time mountain banjo, I was living up in um, the Fargo, North Dakota area at the time, and I, I had uh, mountain banjos that other people had built for me. And I was at... Um, uh, a coffee shop playing one night and some fella came up to me and he said I'd like you to build me a, a banjo like that and I'd never built one before I said yeah, sure I can do that and so um, you know I, I sort of studied my banjos that I had in my collection and I got the wood the hoop so that first very first banjo were made out of plywood and the uh, neck was made out of aspen and uh, and it was pretty rough uh, but you know it was it was playable and that, that was probably about two or three years before I really started building them. And so um, at that time, about two or three years after I built that one, I, I made up a website and I had a little little store. And in that store was um, you know, a, a blurry picture of that first banjo I built. And uh, a guy uh, from uh, Washington State called me and he wanted a banjo. And I said, you want one of my banjos, you know? And so he said, yeah, sure. And so I said, great, great. And so we discussed what type of wood he wanted and things. That was quite a thrill. That's really how my business started off. And, um, and so it's gone from there. And I'm I, I get my wood from a from a local uh, a local uh, sawmill, and um, it, it, he happens to be the uncle of a fella who I built a banjo for, and um, this fella uh, he just he just loves working with wood, and so I've been getting wood for him for probably about three months or so, and I figured you know you know I, I told him I built banjos and I figured one day I said you know I should just take a banjo out and show him you know what I do you know so he knows what I'm doing. And so I took a banjo out to show him and uh, opened up the case and I played it for him. And, and he says, he says, I, I want to show you something. And so he we went to this, uh, this shed and in the shed were just like all this wood like up in the rafters and things. And he points out the shed door up to a hill and, and there's an old, old farmhouse. And, and he says, uh, you see that farmhouse up there? And I said, yeah. And he said, well, my, my grandfather built that farmhouse back in like 1870 and uh and i'm restoring it and um i took the rafters out of it put new rafters in but i saved the old rafters because I, I wanted to do something with them you know and 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 i took those rafters out of that house like 40 years ago and i just did not i just didn't know what i was going to do with those with the wood and after you took that banjo out of that case i, I knew what i wanted i want you to build me a banjo out of, out of the rafter wood and so um this this wood that he gave me, it was cut 130 years before by his grandfather, and the neck's going to be a, a curly poplar, and the the body hoops are going to be a, a curly maple, and it's just going to be a gorgeous banjo when it's done. And so, uh, so I, I was quite honored when he asked me to build a banjo for him out of his wood his grandfather had cut years before. I just love that old-timey sound you know it like 
you know, bluegrass banjo seems so fast paced and, you know, people trying to show off their playing ability where when I hear an old time banjo, it's like I'm, I'm more like I'm hearing history instead of someone's playing ability. You know, when you hear someone play an old time banjo, I mean, you're hearing, you know, probably hundreds of years of playing, you know, behind them, which I think that's what attracts me the most to the old time banjo.